بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی انیدر ویڈیو آن انڈروئیڈ ایپ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ سو گائز ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو ہاو ٹو یوز دی میپ باکس ایس ٹی کے ٹو ڈیولپ اے ٹن بائی ٹن نیویگیشن ایپ یوزنگ انڈروئیڈ سٹوڈیو آل ویڈ گائز سو فرسٹ آف آل وی ویل ٹرائی رائٹ دی کوڈ ٹو فیش دی یوزر کرن لوکیشن اینڈ دین وی ویل move towards the turn by turn navigation and the user will uh, click on any area of the map and then we will fetch, uh, we will use the direction routes to display the direction first and then we will uh, start the uh, the turn by turn navigation along with the voice and text all right so first of all i want to give you a demo of how the app will look like so here, here it is let's just open it okay so here let's run the app i already have connected my phone with the laptop so that i show you how the app will uh, look like when it will be run so we just need to wait a little bit all right guys so now the app is running and it is asking for the user permission and okay so now the user permission is granted and uh, it will show us our current location but our gps is off so i will switch on the gps and there you can see yes it is showing my location this is there so if i want to uh, let me open it again okay so if i want to uh, start the navigation to a destination location so what i will do is i will click here and there you can see that it is uh, the line is uh, drawn here all right and i will click on the start navigate navigation button and there you can see that the navigation is started inside our app and it is uh, saying uh, and it is also uh, running like it will show us how it will be shown when we will move in a car or a vehicle all right so let's get started so how we can do that let's create a new project in android studio and inside this new project let's just write specify the location for it and here we have the location and let's write map box navigation and let's name it as map box navigation tutorial and now you can see that the project is successfully uh, integ opened and now first of all we will integrate the dependency for the map box navigation so here let's go to map box navigation sdk i will provide the link in the video description and from there we can uh, okay so here it is saying that in you need to install the navigation sdk so first of all uh, what we are going with what we will do is we will uh, add the maven dependency and let's try to use it and just copy that and paste it in your let me close it okay and here what you are going to do is 
open the build.gradle and after this jcenter just paste it and after that you need to copy the navigation SDK I mean the navigation UI here 0.37.0 let me close all the irrelevant screens okay so now we can uh, we need to paste it here and now we can easily click on sync now so now it will be synchronized and also I forgot to add the map box SDK we also need it to in order to fetch the user current location okay so I think it is successfully integrated now we need the map box SDK so here we can write com dot map box dot map box SDK slash map box Android slash SDK and it will be of version 7 point 3.2 all right so now we again need to click on sync now and uh, now it is easily integrated now we need to open our main activity dot xml and inside that what we are going to uh, use is we will add the map view so first of all let's change the constant layout to relative layout and then just remove this text view and here we will have the map view and inside that we can say it match parent and the height will also be the match parent then we will have uh, yes camera zoom okay so I think we don't need anything let's just set the ID to map box or we can say map view and then we need some buttons so we have the button as it will be match parent and wrap content then we will have uh, here it will be the text will be start navigation and then we will have the we need to set it uh, okay here we can write Android layout below and let's set the ID of button and here we can specify it alright so here we will have the start n navigation button above this map view so now let's just initialize this map view here so first of all we can say map map view alright then inside our on create method we are going to in, in bind it so we can say map view find view by id r dot id dot map view then we first of all need to integrate the map box SDK so for that we need to create the app inside the map box console so first of all let's just write uh, map box dot initialize or we can say get instance and inside this we will first of all pass the current reference or context and then the we will need to pass the access token so for the access token we need to create the console uh, the app from the console so here we have we are here uh, when you click on your account so here you, there will be an option of access token and you need to uh, generate the access token here so let's create a, a token so here you will name the token as map box tutorial and then you also need to select this map read and map write and also the user read and user write 
and just need uh, click on create token and for the password let me enter my password here and yes uh, now the uh, public token is generated here you can see I will just click on copy and paste it right here and after this we have successfully integrated the map box SDK and now that we need to okay so here first of all we will try to implement some interfaces so first of all we will implement the on map ready callback and then we will have map box map dot on map click listener and then we will need the permission listener okay so now just point the cursor towards that and click and uh, type alt enter and click on implement methods and you just need to implement all those methods so first of all we uh, as we have in the, uh, initialized the map view so the another thing is we need to initialize the map uh, box map so we can say map box map and here we can say map box map then we can initialize it like okay so before that let me write map view dot on create and here we will pass the saved instance and then we can say map view dot get map async and here we will pass this all right and then we can initialize our button first of all so we can say button or i think we don't need to use the button or integrate uh, i mean bind it so here what we are going to do next is we need to initialize our map box map so for that okay so i think we will require it later so after this we need to click uh, uh, write the code for our own map ready so when the map is ready we need to display the user current location so in order to this, do this so let's go to my own map ready and here write this dot map box map equal to map box map all right and then we need to set the style of the map so for that we can say map box map dot set style and what will be the style so we can or i think we don't uh, need this style we will just write uh, add or first of all we can say enable location component and inside that we will pass our uh, let's write enable location component and let's just create the method and for the for this method we need to check if the permissions are enabled and if not then request for the user permissions okay enable location component or location permission so here we can first of all check if the permission manager dot our locations permissions granted this and then we can activate the map box location component so for that we need to use uh, in initialize the location component here so first of all we can say location component and we can name it as location component okay then here what we it will do is Uh, inside this method we can say location component equal to map box map dot get location component 
and then we can set the uh, or I mean activate the location uh, component so we can say location component dot activate location component and here we can pass this and also we need to pass this trial but since we don't have this trial so we pass null uh, okay so I think we need to have the style here so if we for that we can say map box map dot set style and for this style what we uh, can do here let me write the let just copy it and go to your values and strings and paste it here so it is the navigation guidance day so here we can say get string r dot string dot what was the name of the string navigation guidance all right then here we can then we can say new style dot on style loaded and inside this on style loaded we can now call our enable location component and here we can pass the style so for this enable uh, component we can say and here we can write style loaded map style and it will be not null and then we can uh, pass this loaded map style here alright but it is uh, giving an error and it is saying that you need to uh, just write alt enter and click on add permissions uh, check and I think the video is a bit longer so I stop here and I will continue from the part 2 of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye